Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team. In today's video, I'd like to help you better understand the differences between a standard HDMI splitter and the brand new Split Extend product from O-Ray, because both of these products allow you to very easily share the video output from your computer with multiple monitors, but they operate very differently, and it's really important that you understand the benefits of both so you can pick the right product for your particular needs. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a basic understanding of what an HDMI splitter provides and what the Split Extend product provides, and then I'll actually take a closer look at both products and explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use them, and I'll come back one more time and do a brief demonstration of both products to show you just how easy they'll be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the differences between them because they look similar, they do similar things, but they're dramatically different in the way they display the video. So we'll start off with the splitter. An HDMI splitter is a very basic product that takes a single HDMI media stream and then splits that into multiple outputs. So it allows you to basically connect multiple monitors up to that same HDMI device. And the one I have here has a single HDMI input and two HDMI outputs. So this would be considered a one by two splitter. And there are larger models on the market. There are one by four and one by eight splitters. And these are great if you have to display the same content with multiple monitors, maybe at a trade show or in the office. But the key thing to remember about a splitter is that all the monitors have the exact same content. So whatever you plug this into will be displayed across all the monitors at the same time. Now the split extend is a little bit more sophisticated because it can do the same thing. It can actually take your desktop and mirror that across multiple monitors. And the unit I have here connects through USB-C or USB-A, and then it has two HDMI outputs on it. So with this model, I can plug it into my computer, I can use the original monitor that's connected, and I can connect two external monitors up as well. But again, the key here is if you're mirroring your desktop, it's the exact same image across all of them. Where this product really benefits you is that you can also extend your desktop. So it's a split, which means it can mirror, it's also extend, which means it can extend your desktop. Now, if you choose to extend your desktop, that's going to greatly increase your screen real estate because essentially your external monitors act as an extension of your desktop. So if you've got multiple programs opened, you can see them in full screen on those external monitors. You can move programs around between the monitors. So it gives you a much bigger real estate to do your work. It makes it a lot easier to open multiple programs like I mentioned or even open them in full screen mode. Here, it's the exact same desktop on all the monitors that you extend it to. Here, you can actually mirror your desktop to the external monitors, or you can extend your desktop, like I'd mentioned, across all those monitors. And for me, I use this with my laptop when I come home. I have multiple large monitors on my desk. The minute I plug it into my laptop, my desktop is extended across all of those external monitors, and it gives me a lot more screen real estate. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both units, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration again to show you just how simple these products are to use. First, we'll take a look at the HDMI splitter. And the first thing you'll notice is the flexible cable with the HDMI connection on the end of it. This will plug into whatever media device or computer you'd like to extend across multiple monitors. Now, this is a one by two splitter, so it's got a single input and two outputs right here. These are both full-sized HDMI ports that connect to your external monitor, so always use a high-quality cable for those connections. But essentially, it's gonna take whatever video signal is fed in here and put it on both of those monitors at the same time. On the other end, you'll find a DC input port, and that's a USB-C. You'll plug that into a 5-volt power supply like a USB charger or an open port on your media device. And there's a power indicator there as well. So again, a very simple device. Once you power it up, plug this into your computer or your media device, plug in your two monitors, and what you'll find is that media stream will be displayed across both those monitors at the same time. The Split Extend product is different in several ways, starting with the connection you'll make to your computer, which isn't HDMI like the other splitter, it's actually USB-C, and you can convert that to a USB-A connection by using this adapter. And once you plug this into your computer, the product becomes active, and on the other end, you'll find two full-size HDMI ports that you can use for connecting external monitors. Now, the Split Extend product is really two products in one. You can use it to mirror your desktop or split your desktop across two monitors, which can be really handy if you have a small laptop with a small screen. This is great for connecting to a USB-C port and using your laptop on a much larger monitor. 
But the other option would be to use this to extend your desktop across multiple output monitors, greatly increasing your screen real estate. So the minute you plug this in, connect two external monitors, and then extend your desktop across them, that gives you a lot more screen where you can move programs around, you can actually open programs in full screen mode. It just gives you a lot more flexibility. And controlling which mode you're in happens through the settings on your desktop, and it's really easy to switch between the two. In this first demonstration, I'll show you how an HDMI splitter works. And for this particular demonstration, over here I've set up a mini PC that's currently connected to this bottom monitor through an HDMI cable. And this is the media content I'd like to split across both of these monitors. Now this can be any product with a standard HDMI output port, like a game console or a DVD player, or even a mini PC. In front of me, I have the one by two splitter. Now the first connection I'll make is from the splitter directly to the media device, and I'll do that by disconnecting the monitor from the back of the mini PC and plugging the HDMI cable directly into that port. And then I can connect the monitor up to one of these two HDMI output ports on the splitter. And now I'm ready to connect the second monitor up. I've already added a high-speed HDMI cable to the monitor. The other end of that cable plugs into the other HDMI output port on the splitter. All we need now is power. This particular unit has a DC input port that's USB-C, and the kit includes a cable that has a USB-C connection on one end and a USB-A connection on the other end, which you can plug into any standard USB wall charger, or in this case, I have an open USB-A port in the back of the mini PC, and I plugged it in there. So the minute I add power to the splitter, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the resolution of the input, it checks the internal electronics, and it checks the output devices. Once it passes that test, it'll display the content right there. Now what you're viewing is a single media stream from the PC that's been split into two output ports across both of these monitors. But the key thing to remember is the display is exactly the same because it's a single media stream. And you can see that if I move my mouse, you'll see it reflected on both of those monitors. So essentially, I'm mirroring my desktop from this PC across both monitors. But you can imagine if this was a media player and you had multiple monitors you'd like to show the same content on, a splitter is a great way to do that. Now if you stay tuned next, I'll show you how the split extend works, which provides a lot more flexibility. Now I'll show you how the split extend product works. And as I mentioned, this is really like having two products in one because you can use it as an HDMI splitter, which allows you to mirror your desktop across the external monitors by simply plugging it into your computer. But the more powerful function is to extend your desktop across those external monitors, which again, increases your screen real estate and allows you to open multiple programs at the same time, even in full screen mode. So for this demonstration, I've set up a mini PC right over here that's currently connected to this bottom monitor through an HDMI cable, and you're viewing my desktop. In front of me, I have the one by two split extend. Now the first thing you'll probably notice is the connection to your PC is an HDMI, it's USB-A or USB-C. So the minute I plug this into my computer, and I'll just plug it into a USB port on the front, the computer recognizes the fact that I've connected an external device, and it's waiting for me to connect up the monitors. So I've got two high-speed HDMI cables connected to the upper monitors, and I'll plug those into one of the two HDMI output ports, just like that. And the minute I do, this unit now recognizes I have external monitors connected. It's going to make whatever adjustments are needed to give me the best possible picture on those monitors. And there you go. Now that's my desktop. These are extensions of my desktop, and I'll show you how that works. So on that bottom monitor, you see how I'm moving the mouse around? That's my desktop. Watch what happens when I move it up. It moves between those monitors as if they're all one large monitor. Now, you can set those monitors up in different configurations. You could have them side by side. You could have one on the top and two on the bottom. And you can make all those adjustments on your desktop, on your PC. But for this demonstration, I put them on top of each other. But this allows me to move programs between them just by grabbing a program and moving it to another monitor or opening a, a mail program on the top monitor and maybe a browser on the middle monitor. But essentially, it extends your desktop, again, giving you a lot more real estate to open those programs. And if I wanted to use this as a splitter, I could do that as well. So if I'm out trying to present the same media content to multiple monitors, I could put it in mirror mode and actually mirror my desktop to those external monitors as well. So the Split Extend is a much more sophisticated product than a basic splitter. And you can see from the functionality displayed here that it's a great product to use with your laptop. I hope the closer look and demonstrations were helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're deciding if an HDMI splitter or the split extend is right for you. And remember, 
An HDMI splitter is a very basic device that takes a single HDMI media stream and mirrors that across multiple monitors. So the minute you plug this into a media device or your computer, all the monitors are gonna show your desktop and it's exactly the same image. With the Split Extend, you can mirror your desktop across multiple monitors, but it also allows you to extend your desktop across those monitors, which greatly increases your screen real estate and gives you a lot more places to put your programs and open things in full screen mode. The other big difference between them is an HDMI splitter requires an HDMI connection, whereas the Split Extend uses a standard USB-C or USB-A connection to your computer. And the last consideration is the resolution of the content you're displaying. Both of these products are available in 4K models and 8K models, so be sure you choose the one that's right for you. And that's all I had for today, so thank you very much for watching.